Hey everyone. So last week I did a quick flip through video of my 2021 classic Franken planner, but I realized I should have done a more detailed look into it. So here it is. Here's my happy planner classic size Franken planner for 2021. First off is the cover. It's the Progress Not Perfection cover from the Recovery Planner. So I have some stickies here, an envelope to keep uh, appointment cards for doctors or dentist visit for my kids, pictures of my family. Here is my vision board for 2021. I divided it, I broke it down into four sections, um, family, school, faith, and um, social media, all parts of my life that I want to grow in and um, get more closer to God and finish my college degree. So this is my goals for the year. Here's the cover for my planner. It is from the 2020 classic, um, Your Best Year Yet. I liked this planner from last year. I found it again, somebody had it for sale. I purchased it um, just to use the dividers and the um, cover page. And you'll see, I'll explain in a bit. Okay, so here is my year at a glance, 2021. I broke it down into months so I can highlight it and see who's birthday and all. Then I had the other year at a glance where I just write down little notes about something from that day. Here is my word of the of the year, embrace joy. Joy stands for Jesus, others, and you. I saw somebody use joy in one of the planner groups and I realized that I would like to add that to my word, which was originally embrace. So I figured this would be perfect. I want to embrace the year that was coming because 2020 was a chaotic year. And while it changed everything from the normal to what we have now, it also made me realize that I had more time to spend with my family. I wasn't driving all over the place, making my, sure my kids went here, had were at this organization, this club. We got to spend more time, basically stop and smell the roses, um, for a matter of speaking. So I wanna embrace 2021 and with what it gives me, I wanna make the best of it. So embrace joy. Now for my catch-all, this year, I got the New Day Dashboard Planner that came out, when was it, in the spring, late spring, the 18 month um, planner. I really wanted to try the dashboard layer. I'd never tried it before, I'd always been vertical. So I decided to give it a chance. I really love the dashboard, but I don't like the dividers, which is why I got the Your Best Year Yet. I now use the dividers for instead of the, I just put it over the current divider for this planner, I tape it up together. Here is my month, my monthly spread. I do fill this out with, um, if someone has a doctor's appointment, I just put a little sticker and it says doctor's appointment. I don't put any details, any specifics on here. That is what I go to the monthly for. But that's my monthly for January. Here is my weekly, my first full week in January. I have um, back to school. My kids start school again on the 4th. Here I covered these sections up and I just put little habit trackers. Um, two of my kids have allergies. One of them has severe allergies and asthma. So he has medication morning and night. So this is just to keep track of him taking his meds. My other daughter just has allergies. So it's just to keep track of it. Down here it's just to make little notes about other planners that I need to focus on for that week. So I write that here, what I need to purchase. Um, sometimes I use this for menus, meals that day. Other times I just put a big giant sticker on it. So it all changes. Now I love the dashboard, but I do miss the vertical. So that's why I also have the vertical Define Your Passion from the Stephanie Fleming Favorite Collection. I use the dividers and the you at a glance for another reason. I will show you that later on. So the week, a couple of weeks in the month, I use it, switch it out, dashboard, vertical. This way I can have a little bit of both worlds. Then I have my kids section. And here is the pastels bloom. Now I know it says teacher edition. I originally got the teacher edition 
did not like how it was working for me so I got the student one of pastel blooms but I already had the cover page this is just to keep track of when they have holidays and each child of mine has a color a specific color of highlighter to track their classes I write down here a day a week B week because two of my daughters are on block schedule and I write down when they have a holiday if they have a holiday that month now during the weeks here along the side I will highlight do a little highlight um, line with their names and then highlight all their classes because like I said my two older girls well they're on block schedule so I said you know how I said I have some in blocks my two older girls are my younger three are in elementary but two of them take specific classes certain days of the week um, orchestra or speech class so I can keep track of exactly what changes on certain days then I have the here is the rest from that um, define your passion planner the Stephanie Fleming one I use the year at a glance to keep track of um, who's grounded so if so and so is grounded on Wednesday for how long I'll just draw a line I'll write the name and draw a line for how long they're grounded then in the month here all I do is write down who's grounded for how long and what they did with six kids I tend to forget who got grounded what they did what privilege they lost and then it comes back to bite me when I can't remember and I don't know if they're punished from that activity or not so I keep track of it here and then I have this is from the teacher edition of the um, pastel blooms I don't know if that's what it's specifically called but I know it's the teacher edition addition to the student version pastel blooms I keep the checklist only I made it into a taekwondo practice my kids I have five of them who are taking taekwondo certain days out of the week they go to a, a specific place and they practice they have class then here at home it's just to track when they practice here just to see that they're taking it seriously and they're not playing around then I have my household section which is the, um, the deluxe florals the monthly and I have a little guide here divided it up by colors and then I highlight it during the week what needs to get done so I can keep track of my house and who how to what I need to get done and if somebody's gonna help me I can write down there um, child's gonna take over this chore and then just write down here what needs to get done um, then I have my wellness which is the recovery edition one this is more just to track my moods because sometimes I have days where I'm down and sad and just to keep track of it I'm still learning adjusting to this new dashboard layout because I've never this will be the first time I use this layout I think most of us yes because I don't think they've had this layout then I have my book journal and it's the bookish I keep track of everything I read I tend to read a lot of fan fiction stories so I keep track of it here I write down the title and what the story was about in case I want to remember and go back because I really liked it if it's a heart if it's an actual book that I bought or downloaded from Kindle I also keep track of it here then I have my social media account which is the modern farmhouse I'm trying to my, one of my goals this year is to have more of a presence online on social media so it's already planned out for what I want to do for the month then I'll just work in the layout here when I get to it then I have my stories in my free time I like to write stories so I keep track of it by using the garden flowers vertical and it's just basically um, right these are the days that I'm going to be uploading chapters to my story and then in here it's um, I'll keep track of what I want to write, any new ideas or stories I have coming up, what's going to happen in my story in the future sense, keep track of it there. Then I have the Stargazer, and this one here keeps track of all my crafts, which is mostly sewing. I like to sew a lot in my free time. Sometimes I don't have a lot of time and I need to kind of 
plan out my projects so that I can get everything done. So I have it planned out. The if one day I need to, I'm just gonna pre-cut all the fabric, get it ready. The next day I'm gonna do the first set, um, the first stitching. Then I'll close it up. So I have everything listed out here. Then if I'm running out of a specific item or material, I can make note of it so I'll know that I need to get more elastic or buttons, snaps, or specific fabric. Then I have the mom dashboard, the best mom ever. And this one is basically just a mom journal, a mom memory book. Things that happen with my kids during the week. Um, like for instance, on Monday, my husband's birthday, my daughter baked them a cake. My daughter and I, um, we made uh, flour tortillas yesterday. Um, things like that that I wanna remember because they're, they're growing really fast. Then I have my school planner, which is two, it's actually two of the princess ones, the Disney princess ones, the um, kindness is magic and the have courage one. I already had the kindness is magic, but my um, one of my friends gave me the have courage one for my birthday. So I decided to combine the two. I took out the dividers, the sections I wanted, I made my own planner. So here's my January one. It's just to keep track of my school when school starts in the middle of January, keep track of my assignments, my readings, exams, and all, all that good stuff. Then I have my section of list, which is just any um, tracking list that I have, pen holders, um, Girl Scout cookies, books that I've read. I also keep in here a section um, for all my streaming accounts. So I know what gets paid on what day, the password, in case I'm not home, my kids, they got logged out, they can go and get the password for the streaming service. And then I just have a bunch of notebook paper in the back in case I need it to keep it, to keep it handy. Um, so that is my 2021 classic Fragment Planner. Um, it's a little chunky, as you can tell. It's actually very chunky, but I like chunky planners. So I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later. Bye.